What's up, traders? One trade today, EPCM. Let's get to it. So we got EPZM here right off the scanner. Looking for this thing above 16. All right, we're through 16. All right, nice little pop here. There we go. We're gonna take a starter here. We've got 1621, 100 shares. View apps down there around 1550 at the moment. She wants to continue right up through 1650. That'd be nice. There we go. That was a quick drop. Let's see if she'll come back up. Here we go, 55 on the bid. Just come back down. We're gonna go ahead and add here. Got 49. Unfortunately, we didn't get over 50 there like we wanted. We're just being patient with this. Here we go, 1615. See if we can get down towards like under 1610. Get towards that $16 mark. Trying to be patient here. There we go. We're going to take our 75% there. We ended up getting 1610. She's looking pretty weak here. So there we go. All right. The bid's under our order, 1588. Hopefully we get filled here somewhere in the middle. We're at 95. Might have to just, can't. Oh, okay, there we go. All right. So 1595 for those, and that's a pretty good trade for us. All right, traders, so as you can see, that was my trade in the EPZM. Uh, just to go over it real quick, uh, we had a nice little extension here uh, forming right out of the gate. Uh, so we decided to get in on the pop over 16. Uh, we got 1621. She decided she wasn't done. She actually went up over 50. She got a high of 1659. And we hit the button as she was like right around there and we ended up getting 49 as uh, she was coming back down. And we ended up getting this thing as she came down under our initial entry. We took off 75% of our position looking for the rest to get down towards VWAP. And we ended up getting that on the 16 break. So there really wasn't much of this trade. This was a pretty standard, uh, you know, I wouldn't call it a para move, but you know, it was a nice extension uh, from VWAP and she ended up getting that pullback and came pretty close to top ticking it. Um, if you remember what I had said in the live trade, uh, looking down at the daily, uh, I was looking for this thing possibly around this 15, 17 area. The odds are she'll make like a decent extension today and most likely she'll at least come back down and test this area. So I'd be pretty interested to watch this thing if she wants to run, you know, up over 17 or something today, this could be a really good thing to watch. Uh, possibly for the rest of the week, uh, looking for it to come down and maybe retest this area. So, you know, just because it's a daily chart doesn't mean it acts any differently um, than an intraday chart. You know, you're still looking for those same types of patterns. So if you get a nice little breakout move, you'd be looking for it to come down to that previous resistance and use it as support. And if it uses it as support, then that's when you'd be looking to exit your position. And if she doesn't, if you can hold on to a little bit of a piece to ride it down through, then that's awesome. But that's kind of what we'll be watching this for. I'm going to keep it over here on the watch list just for the rest of the week to kind of keep an eye on it. And that's all I got for you guys today. Quota and done. Uh, nice and early. We were out of this trade. When was it? it was at 944. So we hit our quota by 944 today. So pretty happy with that. So like and subscribe, guys, if you haven't already. Always appreciate the support. You guys know that. If you have any questions or comments, just leave those down below, and I'll get to them as soon as possible. I'm usually pretty quick about it. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace.